A new employment report shows the United States is steadily adding jobs as unemployment ticks up to 4 percent. But here in Kern County, our unemployment rate is more than double that total. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein takes a closer look at the disparity. Will. Well, Michael, it's Economics 101. Jobs have been added in Kern County in the United States, but employment is on the rise, too. But for Dr. Richard Gerhardt, this disparity is easy to explain. It's Kern County's large amount of blue-collar workers. Red hot labor market uh, in the U.S. and in Kern County. That's why the United States added 272,000 jobs in a better-than-expected jobs report released Friday. So why do we have job gains and a rise in unemployment? The way that the unemployment rate is calculated, that means that a lot of Americans are entering the labor market to look for jobs because they feel that now is the time to capture both the wage gains that they've made, offset inflation that we've been seeing, and just build up a little bit of a nest egg just in the case of some negative economic outcome. But here in Kern County, we have the fifth highest unemployment rate of all counties in California. Why is that? We tend to be more cyclical jobs, ag construction, oil and gas activities, they tend to slow down a little bit over the summer because it gets hotter and there's less water available and you know, less outdoor activity. People in Kern County are still feeling the pinch of inflation too, even if the numbers are better than last year. It is an improvement, but not as much as one would like. Dr. Gurkche Soydemir says people in the Central Valley may feel inflation the most at the pump on top of California's notorious tax on gas. Unrest in the Middle East may also drive up the price of gas. It seems to be stuck around 3%, so that's causing problems, mainly because of uh, regional conflicts, I mean, having a, an effect on the price of oil. Gerhard says the increase in travel costs are likely not limited to gas. The professor expecting other travel and leisure activities to see less action this year if costs stay high or even increase. This summer is going to be a little bit hard on consumers' wallets. Hotel prices are rising, gas prices are rising, transportation costs are rising. So this summer, a lot of Americans are probably not going to travel as much. And the professor says those high costs include fast food, the industry restructuring employees and cutting hours to reduce the full effects of the minimum wage increases in California. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.